Good times, the great music at 2 in your RFM 103.7. As we stretch ourselves into the world of science, we do that with our Professor of Science from the University of Newcastle, John O'Connor, who has bought a very interesting, well, not actually a sample of, but he's bring some information on a very interesting new type of glassy gel that uh, has some very interesting self-healing properties. John, how, let's let's get into this. What is it and how did how did this come about? Yes, Mark, I mean, when people think of gel, they think of, I guess, a bit like a, a jelly. And yeah. this isn't uh, quite that. This is actually um, something like a, a plastic on steroids. Now, when you think of a plastic, then you're thinking of something either hard, you know, a, a hard plastic that make many things today, or something really soft and stretchy like cling wrap. I mean, all of those are mm. versions of plastic, and they're, they're made from polymers. Well, what the, the group at North Carolina State University did was they mixed polymers, basically the foundation of plastics, with what's called ionic liquids. Now, these are liquids which don't involve water. They involve a mixture of ions, so they're, they're, they're liquids at room temperature, but they are very strongly bound by ionic bonds. So they mix it with the polymer, and that then gets in between the, the strands of the polymers and stretches, moves them apart, which gives them a, a certain flexibility. But at the same time, they bond very strongly to the, the, uh, the, the polymers, so it's still a strong material. Now, there are numerous, a number of advantages from this. First off, having the ions in this, in this material means that they're electrical, electrically conducting. So you've now got a plastic which is strong and stretchy and electrically conducting. But the stretchy one is the one that really caught my attention. You can actually ex- stretch this material to five times its normal length. It's crazy, isn't and it? And it won't break. Now, yeah. you think of cling wrap. You stretch that more than about one or two and it'll break. Or just getting it out of the box. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> we won't go there. That's right. That, that could be a bit of a challenge. But um, the uh, in the article that uh, that I was looking at with this, they, they – Put it over a uh, well. It's not a nail, but something something sharp like that, and they pull it down, and you can see it's really stretched out, but it's not breaking. So it's an incredibly strong material, and um, and the other advantage of this whole process is that it's self healing. So to demonstrate this, what they have is a, is a small video where they take two discs of this material, one blue and one red just so you can distinguish them. They chop each one of them in half. They attach the red one to the blue one, uh, apply a small amount of heat. It completely self-heals. And then they hang a weight from this disc to prove how strong it is. So it, it, it will self-heal um, so that uh, in a situation where you know, uh, a construction material or, uh, or uh, uh, an object that you have, uh, rather than throwing it away or uh, discarding or having to be replace it, Applying a small amount of heat allows it to come back and retain its original shape, its original strength, because it doesn't weaken it all by the self-healing process. And apart from this being a pretty cool party trick for the, the scientists there at the North Carolina State University, John, this is um, there will be also uh, some real-world applications for such a gel. That's right. and the It has uh, applications not only in, in many things that we already use, but uh, it we don't usually use um, uh, this in, in, in uh, batteries necessarily, except for the casing. But this could now, being an electrical conductor, it could now be an integral part of a battery, or it could be in a situation situation where you want the strength of plastic but to be electrical, electrically conducting. At present, most plastics are very good insulators. This is exactly the opposite. So it broadens the range of, of opportunities for using this material and has the ad- additional benefit of being something that will repair if it's, if it's broken. And uh, who knows, it may even end up being glad wrap and lunchbox all in one. <laughs> John, it's always a pleasure. This is some interesting stuff. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks, Mark. Professor John O'Connor from the University of Newcastle taking a look at some of the world of science with us with that uh, glassy self-healing gel on 2NURFM 103.7. A broadcast service of the University of Newcastle.